Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about a way of extending the set in a different way than you're used to. Now, this isn't gonna be rocket science or nothing like that, but you guys know that. If you're tuning into this channel, you know that you don't get rocket science here. You get some decent advice and just uh, basically get reminded of what you already know. But one thing I wanna talk about is that a lot of people are familiar with strip sets and they're familiar with giant sets. And the standard way to do a giant set is to move from one exercise to the next for the same body part. You might not necessarily have a strategy in place, but one thing I wanna talk about is a way of doing this in a reverse pre-exhaust method and why it might work differently than you're used to or why it might actually hit a muscle that is hard to get. And in other news, my wife has been forced to do all the leaves in the yard because the cat was too lazy. And it has nothing to do with a lazy YouTuber that didn't do any leaves. Mountain. Now, what I'm gonna talk about is usually when we talk about pre-exhaustion, we talk about hitting a muscle such as say we're doing dumbbell flies for chest and we fatigue the chest and then we go to bench press right away and push that chest into a deeper state of failure. Now, this is a great technique when it comes down to isolating a muscle group that you wanna make sure hits, to, hits failure first. But an opposite way of doing this, almost like a bizarro world way, right? You guys are familiar with Superman, you know, and then bizarro world, right? What was his name again? Bizarro? I think that's what his name was. But anyway, bizarro, the bizarro way of doing this is basically you say you're doing triceps and you have trouble hitting that outer head of the tricep. And no matter what you do, you're having a lot of issue with that. Well, one thing you can do is make sure that you pre-exhaust the long head like crazy, such as with skull crushers on an incline, such as with some close grip bench, say you're doing some close grip bench and you notice you're hitting the medial delt. Then after doing those two exercises to failure, then you do some lightweight for isolation for that external head of the tricep, such as dumbbell kickbacks. And you don't have to use much weight, but because the majority of the long head of the tricep is going to be fatigued, your body will be forced to recruit the long head in order to extend that muscle. And I discovered this by accident. So when your muscles, when you have three heads in the tricep and the muscles that are responsible for taking over most of the time are totally exhausted, your body has no choice but to hit that third head. Now there's a number of different ways to, to apply this strategy, but like I said, sometimes it works the opposite way you think. Sometimes you think, oh, I'm just pushing that long head into failure more deeply. But honestly, the opposite might actually happen and you might actually hit that outer head more of the tricep that you haven't been able to hit before. So sometimes pre-exhaustion works to exhaust a certain muscle, but sometimes it works to force you to recruit the muscle that you want to recruit because the other one can no longer help, right? The leaves are being hunted. Hunt those leaves. You hardcore carnivore, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. That's right. Hunt the leaves. They're not even running, you lazy cat. Get them. Uh, you could apply this to quadricep training. You could apply this to, uh, you know, may maybe when it comes down to a compound lift, you could, you could apply it to that. Like, say you want to really hit your shoulders, but you notice your chest is taken over a lot. You pre-exhaust that chest like crazy, and then you really hit the shoulders at the end, and then maybe you'll be able to take it to a different type of failure than before. So... It's not an exact science, but what I'm saying is you can untrain the way you've been taught to think about pre-exhaustion and maybe get a different effect. And that might be the effect that you're looking for. So yeah, uh, this is my recommendation to you is try this out. If you're having trouble hitting a certain area, biceps could be another way. You know, say you're, you're doing biceps, but you never really hit the brake eye. Well, pre-exhaust that forearm and then you know, lightly hold onto those dumbbells, rip your, uh, wrist strap yourself in so you can't recruit their forearms and then start doing some dumbbell curls and then see what it feels like to recruit that bicep brachii because once your brachialis is totally fatigued, then you'll be forced to bring in the brachii in order to bicep curl. Mountain. Well, it's safe to say the cat didn't help with the leaves. That's safe to say. All we ask is just for one leaf from the cat. Just one leaf, nothing. Not a thing. Proud of yourself, Cookie? Not one leaf. Not one. You're lazy. So yeah, I hope this helps you out in your training. 
Thanks a lot for watching, and if you need to go home, just go to naturalglambodybuilding.com, and thanks to the Patreon supporters, and take care for now.